Hi, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to bring you a handset review of the HTC Desire 601. The HTC Desire came out in October 2013 and is a mid-range smartphone retailing at around £250. The 601 has a really nice design with a curved back joining seamlessly to the front of the phone. It has volume buttons on the side and a power button and headphone socket at the top. It also has a really nice looking 4.5 inch QHD display and HTC Boom Sound dual frontal stereo speakers to make your music sound great. On top of that, the 601 feels incredibly light to hold, weighing in at just 130 grams. Inside the phone is a 1.4 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of built-in memory. It also has a memory card slot in the back which you can expand with a further 64 gigabytes. The phone has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and is both 3G and 4G enabled. When it comes to cameras, the HTC Desire 601 continues to be pretty good value. The front camera is a basic VGA camera, which is nothing special but ideal for using Snapchat and making video calls. The rear camera is a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with smart flash. The camera can also take 1080p HD video and has slow motion video recording too. The 601 runs Android Jelly Bean software, which means if you've used an Android device before, you'll feel at home straight away, and even if you haven't, it's a really easy operating system to pick up. When you unlock your phone, you're presented with the HTC Blink Feed, which is a home screen content stream, showing you highlights from your Twitter, Facebook, and a whole host of other things that you can choose to add to it, including the latest news. The touchscreen is generally pretty responsive, although it does very occasionally lag. The screen is brilliant, presenting all your apps and contents really clearly, and is also great for watching videos on. The phone's built-in apps let you easily make calls, manage your calendar, send messages to your friends, and browse the net. The 601's dual frontal stereo speakers sound pretty good too, and the music player makes it nice and easy to find your favourite songs. As the phone runs Android, you have access to the Play Store, giving you thousands of free apps and games to keep you occupied whether that's for playing games, reading a book during a few spare moments, or checking your gift gaff balance. Overall, I think the HTC Desire 601 is really good value. The display looks great, it's got a really nice design, and it can easily be used in one hand. I also thought the battery life was impressive, and during road testing, it seemed to be able to handle plenty of cool making and media playing. Although realistically, you're probably still looking at charging your phone once a day to be on the safe side. The only downsides I found with the phone was simply that the keyboard took a little bit of getting used to, and occasionally the touchscreen lagged a little bit, but the majority of time I found it a really enjoyable handset to use. For those reasons, I'd give the HTC Desire 601 an 8 out of 10. I hope you found this review helpful, and I'll see you again real soon.